just going to prep this. This is a watercolor journal, by the way. Doesn't mean you can only use watercolors. You can use whatever you want. But I am using acrylic paints in here. So one lucky person. I don't know what I'm painting in here. I just, I saw navy the other day and I thought it looks so rich. But that's what I'm painting. All right. Yes, if you are a football fan, uh, I am a Lions fan. They were they were robbed. They were robbed. Um, number one. Number two, yes, I did watch Michigan. And the number of my friends who do not realize that I went to Michigan State and not Michigan is amazing because I got about 400 text messages saying, are you watching this game? And I'm like, yes, I am. But I didn't go there. Hello, first time I've ever managed to be here live for ages. Hope everyone's New Year is awesome. Is it anybody's first time? I just went ahead and prepped this page with gesso. It's a primer. It just makes you happy. And you can pull out like a navy blue watercolor. I'm using acrylics. I'm actually using a chalk paint because I love this color so much. Thank you for saying the lines were robbed. Help those referees. Help those referees learn a lesson. All right, oops, I keep a bin. Well, I guess I don't. I'll keep a bin nearby. Anyway, and Michigan did win, so that was exciting. Michigan State's at home resting. They decided this was not the year for football and the year for coaching. <laughs> but I have hope. All right, so we just primed that page. And then I am using a chalk paint. This is Deco Art. You know what? I I have a thought. Hold on. I have a thought. Penny, if you want to come in, you can. Okay, I guess you don't. I just had a thought. Somebody asked me about these paints today, but only if they have navy. That's kind of a pretty color. What color is this? Galaxy blue. Is it navy enough? Okay, I was just going to talk a little bit about these paints. These are Deco Art Earth paints. I really wanted navy. I see black. I mean, this is not a bad color. I wonder if it's dark enough, though. See, this is where I was going. I'll use up next. I do have their all the full line of their new paints. All right. I just used them on a project last week. Do you want to come in, Penny? Come on. You can come in. Come lay down. Go lay down. Sorry. The studio puppy wants to lay down. Okay. I shook this up. Albuquerque, New Mexico. One of my favorite places. <laughs> okay. Hold on. <laughs> we might be using oh that makes sense here Okay, we're trying. <laughs> Here's a fine time to say to everybody, when you are done painting with these big jars, take a baby wipe. I, I especially do this better when I do like gesso and stuff, when you have these jars. Oh. And always wipe the jar, the inside of the, the rim. That'll prevent that from happening. But let's see. Otherwise, I just use something else. Crisis averted. Okay. Perfecto. Yeah. Just so you know, and I can even see it, I usually do. And I know people are going to go like, baby oil it, or 
I don't do any of that stuff. I just wipe the outside of the lid like this. Yeah, and then you can see where it's dried up. Okay. <sighs> okay, so Jackie said, from one Michigan girl to another. That's exactly what I'm doing. Super happy Michigan is representing. All right, this probably is dry now. So let's go with navy blue. I'm going to paint this one color, which I never do. Whoever gets this better like navy and gold. This is a chalky paint, so it'll dry real quick and it'll have a really matte finish. And I'll wipe the lid of that again so I don't have that problem again. All right, it's really hot in here. My daughter's home and she likes the heat on. She doesn't have to pay for it, but she likes the heat. And it was cold today, so. And she wasn't getting good. <laughs> All right. Yes, I go right over that tape. Could have used a thicker brush here, but I didn't. So this deco art chalky paint is actually really great for furniture too. I used to, I've redone a lot of furniture in my time and uh, I love to use this chalky paint. It dries real well. Craft paint will work. This is acrylic paint. Who's painting with me? That was easy. So now, Christy, how big is your studio? I'm looking to convert my garage or part of it into a studio. Great question, you ask. Uh, my garage is already converted to a two-car large studio. Um, there's no, I, I'm ready to convert the bedrooms. My studio is 15 wide by 21 long with 12 or 14 foot ceilings. That's how big my studio is. Um, and I, I can move around my desk and I can move stuff along, around. So put everything on wheels. If I could give you a recommendation. It really makes your life easier. Uh, they almost said it's my first time watching you, so I'm just observing. I hope you enjoy. Yeah. This was originally an add-on that I did with my dad when my oldest was three. He's 26 now, so 26, 23 years ago. And it was, I added a foyer in the studio right off my living room. This is my job. And I wanted to be close to the kids. I really wanted to be where I could just, I have a double door. There's a reason for the double door, too, when it comes to permitting. I can tell you later. Um, there's no closet, so it's really not considered a bedroom. Um, and I designed it and built it with my dad. So it's a really special space for me. It is like the first time in my life I'm talking about moving one day and I thought this would be the space I'll miss the most really if I move I'll have a better one okay that's really dark blue so hopefully what I'm about to do will accomplish what I want okay uh this this styrofoam plate by the way this right here it weighs like two, three pounds because of the amount of paint. It started at weighing nothing. I wonder if I could peel away. I feel like I could peel away the paint. All right, just so you know. That's how hard it is. And I'll try to put this paint where you can see it. So this is, I really like this paint. This is DecoArt's Extreme Sheen. 24 karat gold. I'm going to hope it shows up. And if it doesn't, we'll just flip gears. Okay. Mm. 
so far. Oh, I'd have to go thicker. Oh yeah, it's gonna show up. I just have to use more paint. I gotta remember that. And if I have to, I can, I can steer in here a little bit more. We just might have to use more paint. I saw somebody painting a mural in navy blue and gold, and I was like, I have been thinking about it ever since then. They were painting. I don't know what she was. It wasn't flowers, but it was something different, and I've just been obsessed. Whoops, what, what happened there? Okay. I'm happy you can see that. Y'all can ask me questions as well. I do try to get to as much as I can. But I am painting, and once I get into the painting, it's all bets are off. Mm -hmm. What size is your brush? I'm using a liner brush that's 10 slash zero. I do have liner brushes in my shop. I like the micron ones. This is not one of those, but that's this is the same size. I'm gonna put some of this paint on really thick because I just wanna see it. Yes. I don't think I've ever painted anything with just metallic like this. First time for everything. Is that a leaf? Jeez, oh Pete, what the heck was that? Well, that's going to have to be two leaves because I made a little booby over here. But there's nothing that's not fixable. Oh, now we're going to have to just hike up our shirt because I don't want gold paint all over my new shirt. This one is going to take a few days to dry. Um, by the way, when you order art journals for me, I usually leave them to dry for a few days and cure. So, and they're all sealed and they're all different. Wow, I kind of like this, if I do say so myself. Now I'm only using the tip of the brush, really. In fact, I'm probably going to have to rinse this off because I'm getting too much paint on it. Thank you. 
This guy is a huge flower. <laughs> so this is, oh, Polly is, uh, is Pat Webb. Oh, I'm going to have to, we're going to have to name this after Pat. I've been naming the paintings after the people I'm painting them for, too. All right. Oh, I like that. I really thought there were going to be some red hearts or something in here. I'm just thinking out loud. I don't know how loud this is going to be. Now there's pressure because Pat's watching. Hold on, I'm thinking. Oh, blue is her favorite color. Well, that's handy. Good job, Pat. That's going to be a fine. Why in my face? Oh, this is so relaxing. Okay. Okay, Pat, I'm going to try and not stick my hands all over this. I don't have a steady right hand. Any tips? Use your left. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. Yes, I do have a tip for you. Uh, use the base. Use your hand. Use the, your uh, pinky right here as like a lead. Like, in other words, it's like a kickstand. And, and sometimes that'll steady your hand. And most, most of the time you'll catch me just scribbling, so I don't really care about steady hand. This is where my mother would say, stop being a smart aleck. There we go. Where can I get an art journal? On your website. Um, Right here. Love. Yes, I'll give you the link. I'll give you, uh oh, I better, I'm going to get myself in trouble if I, uh, there we go. There is the link. Yeah. So if you use this as like a kickstand right here and steady yourself, that sometimes helps people. Also, don't over clench. Uh, try to be as relaxed as you possibly can. I know that sometimes is not easy, but that's just, those are tips that I have. Whether they mean anything or not, I don't know. Okay. I just feel like I'm adding a boatload of flowers in here. But I want a place for little pyro red hearts. Uh-oh. Why are you coming up? Remind me later. I don't want that. 
All right. What else are we adding? You're going to find that most of the art I teach does not require you to have like this super steady art. I don't really like to participate in something that is going to be really hard for everybody to maneuver. So there you go. I hope that helps a little bit. But you'll see, see where my, do you see where my pinky is right now? Do you see where that is? It's, it's kind of holding my brush so that and I just kind of mount that I hold the side there's just going to be so many flowers in this you can also move your journal around I, I notice when I'm teaching, I'll watch people and they'll never move the journal around and they're moving their body. <laughs> and I'm like, you know, that journal is not technically taped to the... Uh, I like these journals too that I'm using. They have in and out pages. This one does. You can actually take the pages out and tape them. I almost said glue. Tape them to a board so that you could move the board around. I don't know about you, but this gold is lighting up my world. And I might need to hold this up on an angle so that you can see it. I just got to be careful because I load it up. And a lot of this can be done, like people, if you don't like the liner brush, you could do this with a Posca paint pen. They make lots of paint pens now that are metallic and good. A lot of people don't like the liner work. I love it. Makes me happy, relaxes me. I'll probably be taking some journals to bed tonight if you order. I will paint. I'll paint it in bed tonight. I got nothing planned. Just a night of me and the housewives. All right. Did you all make resolutions or anything? This is like super thick over here, but I'm not going to worry about that. I'm just going to make it thicker and lean into it. My girlfriend loves navy blue so much. I did a mural one time in her bathroom and it, her cabinets were the most beautiful navy blue.
Whoa, this is a poppin'. I just haven't decided. Like I normally go throw in some red hearts in here, but I don't know. I think I want a big canvas like this. Just decided that. I'll let Pat decide if she wants my little pyrrole red hearts in their hidden hearts. They're not very large. I'll let her decide. Y'all, my dog is over here snoring. And not very ladylike. Okay. I think I pleasantly have this covered. She likes my hidden pearl red hearts. I think it'll pop on this. I think it'll pop, if you don't mind, Pat. It seems a little weird. It seems a little odd to hear a man's voice. Oh, that's the TV. My son's watching some Western. And <laughs> they just got surround sound and just hooked it up. I have to, I have to say he's listening to it a little loud. Yeah, he is watching some Western and I can hear it a mile away. I apologize for that. Okay, let's see if I can. Last night we were watching a movie, it was raining and I turned around and I was like, I think it's raining. It's raining in the movie. I have had nothing. Okay. Two. Three. I usually put five. Oh, no, it is a big deal. I don't like how loud it is. I was watching Yellowstone yesterday and I think the neighbors heard it. Okay, four. I'm looking. In the inside. I want to put it more toward the middle. Not used to having my kids around, so. Daughter is home until Friday. Okay, and now I don't want any. And now I'm just going to come in. I really do like this painting, Pat. I hope you do too. I guess it doesn't really matter what I think. I no stone unturned here. What is all here? Okay. And the dog is next to me snoring. It's just like one big noise machine over here. Holy oh. Okay. Thank you. 
Okay. Pat's like, why are you at it? Yeah, go ahead. Just whip a canvas out. Let's do that. I feel like there should be fun, some name for this, like, like posies for Pat or something. Golden posies for Pat. <laughs> My dog agrees. She just snored. <laughs> All right. <laughs> I think I pretty much have every square inch of this covered. What do you think? I just love the way it brightens. That's the word I'm looking for. Okay, now I need to dry this. You know what, guys? I am going to seal this, but I'm not going to seal it until later. Because literally, see how thick I have this paint? But I do want to take the tape off. So, Pat, I'm going to take the tape off, and then I'll just seal it later. You can't really can't really do this without taking it but I will come back in and seal this I just don't want to seal it while it's wet did you guys like that I know it's a little different I, mean, I didn't really my supply list is very small I love it. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. Okay, well, really, the first, you know, it would be more intimidating for me to commission a piece. Oh, I love this. And like have somebody like order it, then me just do it. Oh, that looks very cool. I like it even more now that I've said this. Don't go back there. Don't. Oops. Mary Jones says, thank you. You guys, I don't think I've ever done a painting with just like two or three colors. But it turned out the way I wanted it to. It didn't. Golden posies for Pat. Oh, I got to sign it. This will be sealed, Pat, so don't worry. Um, okay. Done. Thank you very much, you guys. Let me turn that off. And let me come back here and let me just share it in the light. Blood. Wait a minute. What am I doing? First off, I thought I was switching cameras and I wasn't. And then I just looked like a baby. Okay. Ooh. Ah. Ooh. Ah. She's a golden girl. Ooh. 